Ghana has done very well in terms of attaining the targets. We have attained the targets in education. We've attained the targets in gender parity in education. More than 90% of children in Ghana are currently of school going age are enrolled in school. We have as many boys as girls going to school before more boys went to school than girls, but that has uh, caught up. We are on track to attain the development goal in water, access to water. More than 60% of our population has access to clean drinking uh, water. When I went to the United Nations, I said the key for Africa is that we must diversify our economies. The days when Africa was seen as a supplier of cheap raw materials is over. We need to add value. We need to process. I was actually invited uh, by His Excellency and under his leadership to begin a series of external missions to the United States. Um, I began those missions, um, as I said, in the first quarter of the year, and by the time His Excellency the President had arrived at the UN General Assembly, we were ready to sign uh, a letter of intent to begin execution for a $600 million investment by Symbian Power. Um, I met with several American investors in different fields, in agriculture, in oil and gas, in energy, you know, and in services. I met with um, Heshe, which is a chocolate manufacturing company, because Ghana is the second largest producer of cocoa. And Heshe is looking to do some projects here in Ghana. We met with Coca-Cola in Atlanta, and they're looking to use more Ghanaian fruit in their beverages, local in the beverages that they produce. And so there is a lot of contact between American business and Ghanaian business. I will encourage anybody who wants to come to Ghana to see the John Mama administration to be the most business friendly uh, administration. We have a reputation for being the most stable country in West Africa. And that in and of itself draws people to us. For manufacturers and other investors in the West African sub-region, if we were producing goods and services for 300 million people, that would provide a kind of economies of scale to provide more jobs for our youth than all the little barriers that we have between our countries. Yeah.